Hey guys, it's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net, and I'm here, and I'm talking New York Yankees trade rumors. In order to make it to the playoffs for the first time since 2012, the Yankees to do need to do a lot this offseason, and the biggest thing, I think, is getting Brian McCann off their payroll. The Yankees have some amazing young guys in the minor leagues like Donnie Sands and Luis Torrens. In the major leagues, you have Gary Sanchez and Austin Romine, two great backstops. You don't need Brian McCann. You shouldn't have him, and you can get so much out of him. McCann's struggling lately. He's getting old. You need to trade him. The biggest trade rumor has been that he will go to the Atlanta Braves for Aroldis Visayeno and Ender and Ciarte. Cash will also be involved and go to the Atlanta Braves. I think this is the wrong trade to make. You do not need any more infielders or outfielders. You're stacked in the minor leagues and in the major leagues. Don't make more work for yourself. NCRT is a great player, but I don't think we need him. He, he hit 291 this year with Atlanta. Pretty good. He has a great lefty bat, a lot of speed, and a golden glove in center field and a little bit in the infield. But the Yankees have too many infielders and outfielders. You have so many guys in the minor leagues. You have so many prospects. You don't, even though Andy, Ender NCRT is a great player, you don't need more great players because they'll, their, their talent will be wasted. Visayano would be a great guy to get. He's been great in the past couple years with Atlanta, mid-bullpen. He would be great for the Yankees if a starter gets in trouble, 5th, 6th, 7th inning, perfect guy to come in. At first there was a rumor that the, Bra that the Yankees would get Mike Fultonwitz from the Braves. That's not still really on the table, but that would have been perfect. He's a late starter uh, but he, in the rotation, but he could still get a lot of work done for the Yankees. The trade that I think the Yankees should make is send Brian McCann to the Philadelphia Phillies for Triple-A catcher Andrew Knapp and Major League pitcher Jeremy Hellickson. Hellickson has had a lot of issues with injury, but I think he's ready to rebound. He's still young, and he can still have a great career. The Yankees are the perfect place for him. They need some more starters, and they need some depth in the rotation. If the Yankees do indeed trade away McCann, you need at least one more guy, maybe a, t a prospect from another team, to be behind Austin Romine or maybe even behind Gary Sanchez until those young guys like Torrens and Sands come up to the MLB. In the infield, you, you really don't need to do anything. The two guys who you need would need to get off your payroll are Mark Teixeira and Alex Rodriguez, but they retired, so that's all good. You can use a guy or two out of the bullpen, a, a starting pitcher, some catching depth, but you really don't need any infielders or outfielders. You have some great players in the minor leagues coming up, like Gliber Torres, Jorge Mateo, ready to make the jump to the next level. And the MLB, you already have an amazing infield. Starling Castro, Greg Bird, DD. The Yankees need to do a lot this offseason. Brian Cashman, you need to keep your infield the same. You have a great infield. You have a lot of guys, uh, you have a lot of prospects coming up that can be great in the next couple years for the Yankees. Keep the infield and the outfield the, the same. You need one, maybe two uh, decent starting pitchers. Not Don't go above and beyond. And you also need maybe one good reliever. As I said, uh, I think that a role as Visayano is perfect for that role. You got Adam Warren back, so you don't have to worry about that as much. But you should also get a catcher like Andrew Knapp, a triple-A catcher, a lot of experience, could work third, second string in the major leagues behind the plate. That's perfect. That's all you need to do. The Yankees need to do a lot this offseason to build for the next couple years. But for now, I'm Eli Fishman from Eli Fishman Sports and TalkingBall.net. Thanks for joining me on the Baseball Brawl.